Hello everyone and welcome back to the Salwin GSC. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of work in between episodes and that is in between the last episode that you've seen and this one. And I just figured I'd give you a quick update here before we start the actual show. As you can also see we have clouds. I have uh, downloaded a mod that adds cloud cover and a few visual improvements. Uh, Maybe we'll keep it, maybe not. The thing with Kerbal Space Program is that it doesn't run amazingly. That is because it is currently running on an old engine. Uh, when the Kerbal Space Program 1.1 uh, version comes out, it's going to be upgraded for 64 bits. But until then, it's not going to be running that fantastic. That is why sometimes when we're doing a lot of stuff, uh, when we're going to be sending rockets up and flying by the moons and whatnot, sometimes we're going to have slightly lower FPS, down to like maybe 8 or something, which is also the reason why these videos are in 30 FPS, not 60 that I normally do. But anyway, for what I'm going to be doing before we start the actual episode today, uh, I'm going to be upgrading this, the Astronaut Complex. The reason for this is because, as you can see down here, you can see what we can do now. We have we can have five active Kerbals, and Kerbals can only disembark on Kerbin. Now, when we upgrade it, we're going to be able to have 12 active, Ker active Kerbals. That's not going to be that important right now. What is going to be important is Kerbals can perform EVAs. That means they can leave the air. Uh, the rocket or the airplane and go to the ground and do an EVA report a report of the state outside of the vessel. Kerbals can also place flags, which we're going to do. We're going to plant a flag over here. I'm going to be do that going to do that uh, off screen. I'm going to be do be doing that in between episodes because I'm going to be driving around in our little shark mobile. Uh, I'm going to attach the too hot thermometer to it and drive around I'm also going to and this is a bit big to be doing in between episodes but but then again it it's it's really not that interesting you saw me drive around and I cut out a lot of that out because I mean this is the Kerbal Space Program I I think what's going to be interesting is doing the flying things sorry that's that's a text message uh, but but doing the flying things, I think that's going to be quite interesting uh, when we fly over to the mountains here behind us. And uh, the rocket stuff, going to orbit, going to the moon, going to Minmus, uh, in, in the future going to Eve and the uh, moons of Eve and stuff. Uh, building rockets could be fun too, building airplanes. But, but doing this initial science collection that allows us to unlock new stuff might not be as interesting. So what I'm going to be doing now here in between uh, this part of the video and the next part of the video is I'm going to be uh, sciencing, collecting science around, doing uh, doing that, and hopefully I'll get up to 90 science, at which point I can unlock this stage, which is going to give us the Hitchhiker storage container, which allows us to have a crew with us on the missions, not, not going to be... Uh, that that useful in the beginning here, but then later this is going to be very very nice. However, it's going to get give us the barometer, which again I have to drive around doing science with that on at the base, and the really big one. It's going to give us the mobility enhancer, which is uh, well, it's a ladder. I mean, it, it's a ladder. It is the lowest tier of ladder, and. Then I'm going to attach that to the plane and once again drive around the entire complex here. So I figured you'd probably want to skip that. I'm going to be doing that off screen and then we'll come back and figure out what we're going to do from there. So anyway, for you guys only a minute. For me, guys, for me, it'll probably be about a day because I'm doing this before the second part comes up. And uh, of course, for you guys, this is going to be part three. So... Uh, anyway guys I will do that and then we will get on to the to the more meat of the game so uh, yeah uh, enjoy all right everyone we got a little midway update here uh, it has been about 45 minutes to an hour since uh, I last left off and in the past 16 minutes I have spent driving 
on the ground from the the SGSC over to here the Highlands where we are grabbing a little bit of what you call it science I guess we will call it today uh, because we were a little bit short I have forgotten that we had done some of the EREA reports already at the uh, the SGC so I made my way over here now we won't go into the mountains we're going to fly there at a later stage hopefully we're going to have some more uh, this EVA report we shouldn't be able to do anyway we can try uh, we can take data store data take this and board actually we could that was flying even though we're on the ground it, it he's very loud it thought we were flying for a bit there so that's fine anyway we got a an achievement or a, a milestone for driving 10 kilometers across land which as I said took about 16 minutes I, I timed it and and that is why I did not record it because it's very tedious driving over these hills as you can see uh, if we're going to quick save here for a little bit so we can just like drive over the hills this is whoa, whoa, whoa this is way faster than we want to be going you want to be going around 20 meters per second across these hills these this is part of the uh, eve mod this is a city so when we take off there'll be city lights on the surface uh, as you can see this is what i've been doing as you can see 100 meters 200 meters I've been going like this for 30 kilometers across the surface away from there we've done 500 meters now just multiply that by 60 and you would have what I've been doing and of course sometimes you go a little bit slower sometimes a little bit faster because when you come to the top of the hills you don't want to go flying off and crashing so that is what I've been doing anyway we will recover the vessel and hopefully we'll be near 90 science. That is that is the goal we have to reach in order to get the barometer. Uh, 101. So that is fantastic. It was not wasted at least. So again, Bob, our scientist, didn't get any uh, XP. But he has now gathered more than 150 points of science. Which is fantastic. So we can now unlock the barometer. And the ladder. We won't leave the ladder because I have already done the EVAs. Uh, but we do need the barometer and I will drive around on the S SGC one more time and collect all that. And then we're about ready to get on with whatever we come up with to do next. So uh, that is a little bit midway update here. So I'll be back in just a scooch. Alright, we're nearly done. I just drove off uh, the shores or the beach into the water to get the last bit of science. This is grasslands. Uh, whoops. That does seem rather peculiar. However, it does seem like we might get science for it. And, you know, I don't mind science. So I will just gather this up. I mean, this this is what we're here for anyway. So if it does t uh, turn out that it works, uh, I'm going to be pretty happy now. We're going to try to get out a little further into the water here. Uh, see if that is a thing that will happen for us. Gather all this data up from these experiments. And get back in here. We're going to take the experiments, store them again so we can do another crew report at some point. Uh, this one we can't do. Just wanted to make sure... Now let us see. I'm going to quick save here because if this doesn't work, I don't want to lose this guy. I already lost up here. I uh, I crashed one of our other cars. Uh, luckily, I didn't kill the pilot. Uh, but the uh, the remains are still there to be seen. I need to pick those up later. Oh yes, we can definitely uh, fly this thing. Now hopefully we can we can do it a little bit smoother so it doesn't bounce as much. There we go. Can we steer it? Yeah, we can steer it a little bit. Oh, here we go. Maybe we're in the... Uh, maybe we're in the ocean now. Temperature scan from the tundra. This is apparently another tundra. I mean, again, I'm not going to complain about free science. I mean, this is kind of amazing to me, really. Uh, hopefully, we won't til tip off by going EVA right here. If you do this on land while braking, you're going to... Uh, most definitely 
fall off the end of the vehicle. I did that a few times driving around the uh, the complex. Oh shoot! No! 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 Jesus! Well, we fell off the back. Luckily, it stopped right here, so that's fine. We should be able to climb back on. Come on, Bobby. There we go, Bobby. There's the stuff. No, Bobby, Bobby, get on the thing. There you go. That's my boy. There we go. Collect this and reset them once again. Hopefully, I'm I'm still trying to get to the sea. And uh, and get. Did I not restore this? No. And get the data from the sea. Uh, maybe we can't get there. Maybe we can. Maybe we can get more of these. Uh, oh, whoops. Maybe we can get more of these mini biomes on the way there. I wouldn't I wouldn't be sad if that was to happen. We're going to quick save once again because I mean this is still a bit precarious. Let's see, let's turn on the engine. Point the nose down. There we go. I'm gonna pick up some speed going here. Uh, I don't want to go too fast in the water because I, I don't quite know how it reacts to stuff. Looks like we might actually have gotten the the shores biome here. So this is this is actual water stuff. I'm gonna turn off the uh, brakes. Maybe there's going to be some ocean biome out here. I'm going to tilt it forward again. Uh, now that's a lot of of ocean sounds, huh? It's a lovely sky. Oh, whoops. whoops. <laughs> that wasn't lovely. This is a lovely sky, though. It's really looking nice. The moon rising in the background. Now, that is nice. Maybe the moon... Maybe maybe that's Minmus and that's the moon. I think one of them's going to be one of them. Funny how that works, isn't it? Uh, no, it doesn't really look like we're going to hit an ocean biome out here. Though, I'm going to keep going a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back, put a few wings on this bad boy, and fly to the mountains with a few parachutes. And collect the mountain biome. And as soon as I'm done doing that, I think we're going to call it a day there. Because that is going to be uh, around the kind of time that I want to end the episode anyway. However, I think that is going to be the last bit of science on the surface before we go into space. So next episode is definitely going to be uh, space uh, maybe not orbital but definitely we're going above 70k which is the uh, the end of the atmosphere so we're definitely going into space on the next episode uh, without a doubt the question is how far into space no doesn't look like we're going to get another biome out here so we're going to wait for it to stop then we're going to recover the vessel. We should get a lot of science for this. We, we managed to get a lot of biomes. We'll recover this for, for a bit of money as well. Uh, once we get to that part. Let's just apply the brakes. Even though they don't do anything. These are uh, wheel brakes. They don't do anything in the water. But I mean we might as well you know. Just for good measure and all. Slowing down really slowly here. Holy hell. Oh well. Oh, there we go, now it speeds up. Sweet. Things do take time, especially in the beginning here, where we collect all the uh, the ground stuff that's not the most interesting. It does feel like it takes longer, even though it takes less time, it feels like it takes longer. We did get a hundred science, just from, from driving into the water there. Well, I mean, I drove around this area first and then went over to collect stuff, uh, but still quite nifty. We, we did spend a little money because I did crash that one car. What's this? That was weird. Uh, however, we did make some back, so we're okay all in all. I'm going to slap a few wings on this bad boy. Hopefully I can make it, actually. Maybe we're not going to be able to. Let's see. Do we have... We, ha we do have the jet engine. So, in fact, we're going to build a jet plane because I don't want to fly over there with the one we had. So, we're going to build a jet plane. Now, to build a jet plane, this is going to be a little bit awkward because I don't think we have the fuselage. No, we don't. So, we're going to build a very ugly plane. Now, we might want to build... Can we put a surface bay on here? I guess we'll do that to help uh, our, our our length. Because Oh, and a science junior is going to help our length as well. That's pretty good. That is actually starting to come along pretty nicely. Now, we're going to open this service bay and pop all of these things in here we're only going to oh whoops 
Oh yeah, we need to turn snapping off, which is that one. Now we're only going to be going for uh, the mountains. However, we are going to get uh, experiments from flying as well. So we do need two of everything. Just so we don't have to reset them. Because I do want to bring a pilot. So we do have the SAS. The stability assist. Because it's nice. And I, 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 I mean the flying in this game. Although probably pretty pretty well balanced. It, it does have its difficulties compared to uh, the normal rocketry flying. So I do want to have a little bit of safety coming along here. Now, I do want to get uh, an ass. I do want to have an ass. Do we need any more? We have the goo, we have the science junior, we have the barometer, the thermometer. I think that is all of it. Yes, these two are communication things, these two are computer things, and this is not for this bit. So it looks like we have all of it. Now, we do want... Four of these shoots. We'll place these when we know where our center of mass is going to be. Uh, let us see. I think I kind of want to get a little bit more range on this. How much weight is there on the... Whoops. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the thingamabobber. The thingamajigger. How much weight is this? This is 0 0.1 tons. So that is actually good for getting a little extra uh, range or... Or length to our plane here. Now we want to get some wings. Swept wings is nice. Want to put on two of these. It's pretty. Whoa, it's actually really big. I was about to say they're pretty big, but they are in fact really big. And we want to make it like this ish. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And we'll grab a tail wing. A tail fin, even rather like so now with the jet planes you do need a uh, an air intake because they do not burn off an oxidizer they burn off of uh, air inside the atmosphere because they're designed to so we do need to put them under the wings we don't have a uh, an air intake that we can mount on like here yet so we can't do that just yet but we will put two of these small ones which that's the small one, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we'll mount two of these under the wing. One on each side, like so. Oh, it's looking really nice and, and nice and... Uh, nice and jet plane -y, I guess, is, is what I'm, I'm looking for here. Uh, we're going to go aerodynamics. Do one of these on each side. We're going to make sure that it's on both... Oh, these are a little bit off. So we'll grab the rotate tool put on snap and grab the rotate tool there we go are they really rotated straight I mean I'm not sure but we'll deal with it anyway oh this is ugly let's see our center of mass is right here that's actually looking pretty decent where is our center of thrust though oh it's far back far back that looks really really decent I mean, maybe we would like it a little bit higher, but I don't think we're going to get that. And I think we should be okay. We're going to need some elevons, though, for the wings. So we're going to have... This is not what I meant. What did I click? I clicked the X button. So we want these, and then we want to rotate them like this. Now we want to have two sets. And have the outer ones for roll... And the inner ones for yaw. And I think pitch. Now that does mean that they're going to do the same as this. Which is going to be slightly awkward. This is not going to be a roll. It's just going to be that. Alright. I think I think we're okay with this. What is the center of lift? It's also back here. I think... Actually maybe we kind of want to have that a little bit further forward. Now we do want it to have its... To push its nose down, but we don't want to have it push its nose down too much. So we will call this the SGSC Science Jet. Yes, that is what we will call it. 
Uh, and then we will see if we can't move these forwards, f these forward just a bit. Not that much forward. About, come on, up, there we go. Is this, no, they're pointing down now. We want to move them up like this. Back a bit. Alright, so let's see, the center of mass is pretty good. I think that is that is about as good. I am not the best at judging aeroplanes, so we will have to do a a test of this. Where we, if we do fuck it up, if we do fail, I will revert back because I don't want to burn a pilot on me just not knowing how to build an aeroplane. Because I mean, I have some understanding of how to build the the rockets in this game. However, aeroplanes is not my uh, my specialty. It is not what I'm good at. Now, let's hopefully, if we have the center of thrust, center of mass, this should be all right. Let us go have a look. And again, as a disclaimer, if I do crash and burn right off the bat here, we are going to revert. We're not going to let Jebediah die just because I don't know how to build a plane. Now, we're going to put two of these on here. And we're going to put an extra on like this. There we go. That should be all of it. If it's not, we might just crash and burn. Hopefully, that won't happen, though. Alright, All right, Jebediah. Alright, let's see. It's going to bounce up. That is one ugly ass plane, though. Because we don't have the structural fuselage, we cannot build it any longer. Now, what we are going to do is. Oh, we're going to fix our staging. We're going to break and fix our staging because we want. Alright, well. Two jets. We can actually remove this one to fire and then those to fire. We don't want to do all of that at the same time. Now we're going to fire these and turn off the brakes and stop. Now the thing with with jet engines is they they don't work the same way as rockets. Even when you turn them off they they wind down so they don't stop instantly. But this landing strip or takeoff strip if you if you will uh, is is way too bumpy for us to actually take off with this plane. So we're going to drive down here. Oh, we only brought one science junior. In fact, we're going to recover the vessel. We're not going to revert. We're going to recover it. And instead of that last uh, science bay, we're going to slap on <laughs> five or more missions. Nice. Uh, we're going to slap on another science junior because, as I said, we're going to probably maybe get one in the air. Maybe not, but we're definitely going to get one in the mountains. So just to be uh, just to be safe, this is 0.2 tons. Does add a good deal of uh, of of length to the uh, to the plane. So it does make it look a little bit holy. Could you? Thank you. Grab the tail fin, please, and move it back here. So save, lunch, yeah, yeah, and. Let us try once again. Yep, 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 yep. Well, sounds like we are cleared for takeoff, so let us just activate everything. Stop. Brakes. Now, we forgot to do the staging. We're going to do that in the uh, hangar this time so that it saves it for prosperity so that we don't have to fix it every time. Uh, back again. All right. This this is what I, I, I mentioned early in, in one of the early episodes. I do tend to forget everything. We're just going to make sure that the center of mass is right around these. That way uh, it won't tip too much on the, uh, on the nose there. And I think in fact we're going to add an extra parachute in the back here. Now that we do have to set the stages anyway. So we're going to add another one. Our two engines are going to come down to here. Alright. And we do have Jebediah. Fantastic. Awesome. This should be the last time we go to the runway to take off. We're going to grab a water. There we go. Alright. So. Engines on. Cut the power. 
get off the runway because it is bumpy as, a, as all hell. If we try to take off down the runway now, I can guarantee that we die. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to take off across this uh, grasslands or a plain because it is mo a lot more plain. So it's very nice. Here we go. All right. Let us see what will happen. Hopefully, we won't crash and burn. We're going to turn on stability assist because we do have a pilot. That's why <laughs> looking is looking pretty pleased with himself here. Now, hopefully, we can manage to take off without crashing. That would be preferable. Now, around 100 should be enough speed to take off. We're going to. Uh, I mean, R8, maybe not. Alright, so. Well, we're definitely not going up that fast. Not quite sure if we can make it to the. To the mountains like this. In fact, I think we're about to crash. So, yes. Alright. Now, actually, Jebediah lift. So, this test, we don't have to revert. We're going to recover this. Now, I did said, say that this was, this was a test. But, since we didn't kill Jebediah, we're going to save that revert until we do. Oh, we did, in fact, manage to bring this back. That is quite amazing. Now, we do want... So, our center of lift has to be more up front, I think, because we couldn't bring our nose up, so I think we want more lift in the front. Now, how do we fix that? Do we put the wings back a bit? Or do we bring them up front? If we bring them back here... Oh, herpeter. Herpeter. Alright, so we want to have a wing on each side. So if we bring them here, it will look silly, but but I'm going to fix that in a second. Now if we bring them here, I want them to be like even. This is looking goofy. Oh yeah, it's because we want angle snap on. It's much better. Now we want them like this, and I think we want the uh, I think we'll actually do this, and then we'll put some some tail fins up front to help us steer. Now again, I don't know how to build planes, which is why I do have the disclaimer that we will revert if we kill Jebediah, because I don't want him to die from, from me just being bad at, at badness. So our sens sensor of thrust is pretty good. Our sensor of lift is in between. Hopefully this will help us like tilt it upwards. And this other one has everything active. It shouldn't do roll. This one doesn't have pitch and yaw. It has roll. Right? Roll. Yes. Alright. So again we're going to try. Now our sensor of mass is moved. So we need to move the chutes in here. We're going to ditch this one and just have this one up here. And we're going to save and launch and... Well, 30 parts. How many parts do we have? 32. So we can... Uh, uh, what do we want to cut? Don't want to cut these. Don't want to cut these. I th I'm thinking maybe we'll do... We'll cut one of each experiment. We're going to take off angle snap. At least of these two. And then we'll have the goo in the other ones. And then we can just get these in the air at some other point. Like so. So we're going to save the vessel. Clo oh, we're going to close the doors. This is fine. Save the vessel. Launch. And hopefully this will work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to... Uh, to have a look at it off camera and see if we can fix it and otherwise I'll just figure out something else right, fire the engines cut the engines and turn oh we forgot to recover these this debris it's actually looking pretty snazzy right now I mean when you get it from this angle it's not that great but here it's pretty good from here it looks like that uh, the bad guy from Sonic with his mustache 
let us fire the engines. Hopefully these will help us uh, control the the angle, the pitch. Maybe it's the pitch. At any rate, hopefully that will help us control that. Now we're going to let it gain some speed and then we're going to try to take off. Yes. So this is definitely helping us bring it upwards. We're going to put on stability assist. It definitely feels a heck of a lot better. So we have the material study. Oh, we should have saved that one. Oh, well, we're going to cut the engines. We know we can take off and we should... Actually, we're going to have them around here. We want to keep our speed. We want to keep our momentum. We're having a look here. And then we want to try to see if we can pitch. Now, how do I roll? I roll like this. Whoa. Alright, so we can definitely get to the mountains with this. Now I'm going to stop rolling. I'm going to kill the engines. And I'm going to deploy the chutes. Because I do want to go back and reset. Oh, wait. We did bring two of these. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to quickly go to the surface. At least now we know that the chutes work perfectly balanced. So that we come down nice and even. We're not going to crash our... our uh, our, our nose or our engines or anything we can just whoa, whoa like so like if we want it right around here perfect this is fantastic I'm actually really surprised that I managed to build an airplane that can fly <laughs> I'm, I'm, wow that was one belly flop for the ages right there anyway we're going to recover this we should get some science just like 17.5 or something uh, and then we'll fly off to the mountains now I will fly there. I will pick you guys up right before we deploy the chutes in the air. So I will be right back, guys. All right, guys, we're back right now. We are above uh, the highlands. As we can see here, we have this temperature scan. I don't want to do it because we only brought one uh, to make room. But we have been flying through the clouds here for a bit. We can see the cities below. They, do, they don't look that great from this altitude because we can see that they're not actually houses. Uh, but they're going to be looking pretty nice when we do take off, uh, like, uh, real takeoff into space. Now, hopefully we will get above the mountain's biome over here and also be able to land there without crashing and burning and get into a nice uh, position on the mountainside so we can also do an EVA and a surface uh, EVA report. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I am hopeful. But now let us be careful here. We don't want to go all too fast. But we don't want to go too slow either. See, now we're losing speed. We want to keep a pretty steady speed around here. Around 166, we're pretty happy. I mean, I, I don't actually know if that's a good speed for this, but it feels manageable, and that is what I'm going for right now. Now, when these pop up with a lot of experiments, we're going to be over the mountains, so, but I'm just waiting, waiting for that to, uh, to happen. Then I'm going to figure out where we want to land. Of course, we're going to deploy parachutes. We're not actually going to try to land on our wheels in the mountains. That would be absolutely mental. But I think we want to be around this little hill here. So we're going to go down a bit. We're going to slow down our engine. Alright, so temperature scan over the mountain. This is where we want to be. We don't want to land down here. As I said, we want to land over about there. We're going to cut the engines. Alright. So we just want to coast in here. And at the right time, deploy our parachutes. Hopefully they'll break our forward momentum enough. And our uh, downward momentum will be good. So here we're going to deploy them. Alright. Looks like we're around the area I actually wanted. I said on this hill here. And it looks like we might be able to actually land there. So that would be absolutely fantastic. Now we do want the temperature scan. We're going to grab that when we land. Oh, 7.1 might actually be a bit risky. Hopefully the air will get a little thicker as we go down a little lower. And we'll fix that for us. Looks like we will be landing on a bit of a slope. And that means that we will have to turn sideways so we don't roll down the mountain. Or we can actually drive up a bit. Maybe. 
this is a jet engine. It's not that e efficient, but hopefully that will work. Hopefully the uh, the wheels won't explode everything. Seven meters per second now that we're coming down. If if we get to seven meters per second, I think the wheels will hold. If we go anywhere above that, I think we could be in trouble. We're going to turn on the uh, the parking brake here, just for safety. All right, everybody, cross your fingers. Pretty please, because we, we do need a little bit of luck here. We are landing on a slope. We want to try to, like, drive up. So a little bit more of an even surface. Oh, this is actually not that bad. Oh, 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 come on. Tilt forward. Tilt forward. Nope, it's not going to tilt forward for us. All right, we're going to rev the engines a bit. Take it off the parking brake. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's see if we can do it now. Can you push us forward? Yeah, buddy. Here we go. We're going to turn down the speed. Turn down the speed. Calm down, honey. Calm down. Just going to nudge her along here a little bit. We want to drive up to this flat plane right here. This area. This area looks really nice. All right. Cut the engines and apply the brakes. Fantastic, boys. We did it. We did it. We made it to the mountains. Let's grab all of this stuff. Alright. Fantastic. Now, I think we want to turn a little bit sideways here. So we're going to rev the engines a bit again. As you can see, we're still trailing backwards as soon as we let go of the parking brake. Now we're going to just very tightly, or very slightly, Move forward, we're going to apply the. Uh, let go of the throttle again. We're going to turn so that we're facing sideways to the to the hill. Apply the parking brake, and we're going to do the EVA. And hope that the that the plane does not run away from us. Now we are going to jump down. But before we do that, we're going to take the data, store the experiments, board, do the crew report. Keep it. EVA again and then go to the surface. I think this is... Well, maybe we're going to store it. No, we can't store it. So we're going to board, uh, drop that thing, EVA, and let go. And hopefully we won't get uh, hung here. There we go. EVA from the mountains. Maybe we have it, maybe we don't. Can we actually get in from down here? Stop bonking your head, mate. No, we can't grab that one. Anyway, we're going to recover. Then we will recover the vessel. And that will do it for this episode. Let's see what we got. We got the EVA from that. And then we'll look over here. Recover this bad boy. We got 21.5 science from that. That's fantastic. Next time we will have to spend it on something that we really want. Maybe some rocket parts since we're going into space now. So anyway, anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you leave it a like and or a comment below. And until next time, have a great day.